Hi everyone. In this section, I am going to show you another way of initializing the state inside the use state hook. This way of initialization is called lazy initialization of a state or lazy initial state. How does that happen? Let's check it out. We have already seen this kind of code where we have the use state and inside that you give the fix value. This can be a number, string, boolean or even array or object literal. The value which we are assigning is just a fixed value at the moment. Let me first of all create a function which is possible that you may have a function inside the use state. So let me just say a function which has some process but at the moment we create a function let's say initial state. Now this function is going to return the state instead of the state you assign directly. So this initial state function call will return the zero. So I will write return zero here. Now let's just refresh the page and we see the functionalities same. What react says in this case is that on every re-render call this initial state line is executed that is this use state and initial state is executed so for example if you are giving a fixed value like zero true false then there is no problem if you are having a primitive data you do not have any problem but imagine that you have a function like this which has some expensive process that's what the official site of react says that when you have an expensive process then this is where you need to take care and you should go with lazy initialization just to show that every time when re-render is executed this portion is called i'm just going to add one console log here so i'll say console log i'll simply write expensive process though it's not very expensive and let me also just add date dot now so that will give me a new value so in console log every time you have different value now let me refresh first of all it called the render twice that's why every time this initial state whenever there is a re-render this initial state line is executed it means even if i click on the increment you see there is a line added always when I click on increment because a re-render is executed and on every re-render you will see that this use state and initial state is executed. So this is very clear that whenever there is a re-render this state thing is going to execute with initial state. Now if you have let's say any expensive process say for example you have some object here right and that you are having some json dot stringify and let's say you have some new object that is assigned and then at the later stage you are returning this particular object this is a kind of heavy process now in such kind of processes every time a re-render is executed at that time if this thing is getting called it is not a very good practice isn't it so let me just undo everything we just assume that this is an expensive process that's it so now what we want is that every time when re-render is executed we do not want that this initial state should be executed for that what you can do you can call this function or you can rather initialize with a lazy method it means you are going to add a function here i can say function here right and then i may have a return statement which is going to give me the final value but instead of writing this way you can always go with a shorter syntax so instead of this what will i do because it's a single line i will write an arrow function and will write the function itself here now earlier you did see that whenever we called increment it was calling this function and that is the reason why every time this console log was getting executed now because i just added this function call here that means now i am loading i am initializing the state with a lazy method let me refresh 
two times it has called expensive process that's fine now see i click on increment again click on increment the value is getting incremented the state is changing without any problem but now that expensive process thing or the initial state function is not getting called this is what lazy initialization of state is always remember whenever you have bigger process which is going to give you the initial state value and that you put it in a function then don't just write the function only do make sure that you follow the lazy initialization that is you just add a function here again i would like to repeat that i just placed an arrow function here you can anyway write a detailed function but normally you see that when we are using arrow function we prefer to have single line function only so this is what lazy initialization of state is if you are looking for front end full stack opportunities in the us anag technologies can help you find your next big project also if you are looking to turn up your existing skills in front end that is mean or mern stack you can enroll with one of anag technologies training programs anag tech is supporting my initiative to bring more up to date technical tutorials specially crafted for viewers like you check out the links in the description for more details